Welcome to Earth, number 5881187627. The year is 1997, age zero. The world around you is unlike anything you have ever seen. People that you call family huddle around you as the one you call mother holds you close. You know you are safe in this stranger's arms. Fast forwarding to age three. The year is 2000. You can now finally walk and comprehend the language of everyone you know. One of your favorite words to hear is beautiful because that is how your parents describe your personality. You learn that there are things you should say and things you should not. Every day holds an adventure and new friends to make. Transitioning to age four, and the year is 2001. You hear of bad things happening in a place called New York. Television screens are filled with repetitive images of chaos, debris, and bright explosions. When you ask what is wrong, your parents tell you that there are bad people in the world. You understand why your mother was so cautious of your daily adventures. Not everyone is your friend. Next stop, age 6, year 2003. Your parents tell you that education is vital for being a successful human. So you attend as asked. The day suddenly become a pattern, or schedule as they call it. Your parents begin to recognize that you have patterns too, but not what you would call a schedule. It is assumed that these patterned rituals are merely developmental milestones. It is now the year 2006, age 8. You have a friend that you can call your best and share all of your secrets with. You begin expressing yourself by picking out your own outfits in the morning. You explore the many different careers that are advertised through media. When people ask who you want to be, you tell them that you are having trouble deciding between a pop star, model, artist, astronaut, Olympic medalist, or doctor. Skipping ahead four years to age 12. The year is 2010. The patterns that were ignored before now become a burden to everyday living. The friend that you called your best now thinks you to be strange. The only explanation you have is that your brain told you to. The letters and numbers that teachers hand back to you make you feel that your opinion does not matter. You believe that something is wrong with you, so you shut yourself away from everyone. You start drawing images of how you wish to look because boys do not seem to find interest in you. Your mother declares that you need help and should seek what they call therapy. At age 12, you are diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. Age 15, year 2013. You decide that you do not want to feel stupid any longer. You study with every fiber in your being and do homework until the AM hours. Through trying your best, you make new best friends. You have finally grasped control of your demons and can now be considered smart because of the letters and numbers that the teachers hand back to you. Age 17, year 2015. After so much searching, there is finally a boy that wants to call you his own. He calls you beautiful, but when he does, he is not talking about your personality. He dates you for two weeks then leaves you because you will be too far away in college. He says it is okay because he will still be your friend. While you are away, he asks you to send some of your beauty. Not everyone is your friend. Age 18, year 2016. You are attending college on no scholarship money because being a straight A honor student is not enough. You have left old friends behind and you have found it difficult to make new friends through trying your best. Your work ethic becomes more of a people pleaser or weapon. Now that you finally have someone you can say you love, the brain you were born with makes it difficult for you to decipher what feelings are true and which are not. Your major is highly focused on your creativity and your opinions, so the professors tell you to express yourself you find expressing yourself challenging when letters and numbers determine your success. Everyone wants to make their mark in the world, just like you. Your opinion is just another recycled idea. 
But don't look so down, number 5881187627. You are considered fortunate. So put on your happy face. Why look so awfully tragic? Put on a happy face. Smiling can work like magic. Put on a happy face. Take off the gloomy mask of tragedy. It's not your style. You look so good that you'll be glad you decided to smile.